Hi, Dave Strahan, Zebra Technologies. Today I'm going to talk about a new feature recently introduced to some of our DCS handheld devices that allows customers using UDI or GS1 barcodes to pass only specific data from the scan source to the system, dropping other unwanted fields as required by the data entry systems. These configuration features are known as UDI Scan Plus and GS1 Passing and are configurable using Zebra's 123 scan software utility. So GS1 in our case here is, a, is an international organization that co has come up with a, a standard for this type of barcode, in this case UDI. Uh, the UDI barcode itself is a unique identification mechanism designed for tracking trace of medical equipment from manufacture through the distribution through the use. For example, a bag of hemoglobin may be produced in a, a, a factory in Australia. It is distributed by its standard distribution system and it arrives at the hospital. It is then either used on a patient or over time comes out of date. That whole process can now be monitored and regulated on with this barcode's help. So now with 123 scan, I'll show you how simple it is to actually configure this feature using drag and drop within the um, ADF passing area of the software. So here we are in a 123 scan and we're going to go to the modified data area of the configuration areas um, under advanced modified data advanced you'll be used to the ADF rules however the new scripting capabilities are all listed here this is actually a beta code at the moment that I'm running um, so label passing and blood bag passing are not included in the current release version however they will be very soon we're going to focus on UDI passing as we've discussed today and uh, let's go in and, and configure. So by default, there is a, a, a basic, simple um, config already in there. So if we go up to the top here to initially enable the, the passing rules, you'll notice there are three versions, GS1, HIBCC and ICC BBA. Now they're just the three different organizations that are um, accredited to create these standards and barcodes. Uh, we're going to use GS1 UDI passing in this case. Now, if you tick on this fields here, you'll see there are numerous other um, options that can be used in these um, UDI codes. However, we're going to keep it simple here and just use the, the ones that we see here. Now, let's clear this just to show you how simple this is. So right now we have a code, for example, that has all of these five um, what we call AIM codes in them. So at AIM code 21, 17, 11, 10, and 1. We only want to use three of those codes. So let's say we want to read the GTIN. So we drag the GTIN over. We don't want to see the serial number, so we won't drag that over, but we do want to see the batch and lot number. And we also want to see the expiration date. Now, we can also format this date and that date can be any of the current methodologies that are used by various systems across the world to uh, interpret date stamping. In other words, year, month, day, or day, year, month, etc. We're going to leave it standard for this. Now, currently, this would just deploy as a whole string of, of, of numbers when we outload it. But what we want to do here, for example, is let's put a tab in between each of the um, unique identifiers. And then right at the end, we'll say, okay, my system needs you to hit enter for it to be sent as a string to the database. So that's pretty much it. I mean, we've set the, uh, the, the thing up. Now all you basically have to do is program the scanner with that. So as per any normal um, 123 scan setup, we just keep hitting the next and, and through the configuration routines until we get to the end and then we basically hit load to scanner and in this case I've got a, um, a DS8178 that I'm programming for so I would just basically hit load to all scanners and now we're loading to the scanner that should take a few minutes a few seconds and um, yeah that's that's pretty much done okay for reference on the left I've uh, put up a UDI, UDI uh, summary to Remind everyone that's watching this, 
what we're actually talking about in regards to this uh, the code and the number. Now what I'm going to now do is scan a, um, a code raw without any formatting on it. As you can see, it's just basically one string of data, no um, no modification of, uh, of any type from the data, including it's got the ID codes from the um, from each segment of the barcode in there. For example, the zero one indicates a uh, GTIN, which is the GTIN is here. Um, well, now what I'll do is I will scan it with a scanner that has been programmed with the passing code, as as we did in uh, one two three scan. What you can see here is that it's followed exactly what we've asked it to do. It hasn't forwarded in the ID codes because we didn't ask it to. It's added a tab in between the um, GTIN, lot number and date of manufacture. And it has also sent an enter key at the end to forward to the system. So it's basically done everything we've asked it to do. Now, the, the difference between the ADF rules and the passing rule is that with an ADF rule, if the data is always 12 characters long and it's always in the same place on the barcode, you can apply the ADF rule and that's fine. However, with a passing rule, irrespective of where that data is and how long that data is, it will remove it from the code as you require or forward it as you require. In other words, the serial number could be in the middle of one barcode and it could be at the beginning of another. As long as it's the serial number and it has this ID code at the beginning to tell you it's a serial number, the passing rule will affect irrespective of the position of it or size. So right now um, with Zebra, the Zebra uh, DCS uh, portfolio, um, currently the DS8178, the DS8108 support this feature fully. Um, the 9908 series will support this feature in Q3, Q4 of 2020, as will the 40, 4608 and 3608 scanners. Obviously, this is directed at healthcare, so um, this, every scanner that's in, the, in this configuration is a healthcare-based device also, as well as being um, a, a retail and manufacturing-style device. And with that, this is uh, me signing off. I hope this has been a useful, um, entertaining video for you, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.